Hello everybody, my name is Greg. I want to welcome you to my channel. Uh, what I want to talk about is uh, this version of Vedic Astrology that I'm offering to people. Uh, we're, let's, uh, let's make a comparison uh, to Western Astrology. Western Astrology is based on the, uh, the tropical zodiac and it's based on the uh, calculations of uh, the Earth relative to the Sun, based on the equinoxes. And uh, Vedic astrology is, is based on the uh, sidereal zodiac, which is actually the stars that are right above your head at the time that you were born. So it's going to be a more accurate type of a reading. I mean, it's, it's real time. It's, it's what's really going on up in the sky when you were born. Where Western is going off of a different zodiac. And uh, it's not exactly what's up in the sky at the time you were born. You know, if you look back in the history, I, I would say that the first astrologers actually got the position of the stars from actually looking up at the sky and that's how they determined the the readings that they gave the energies that these planets emitted and how they get expressed through the person when they were born so it's it's in my experience it's far more accurate than western i don't have much experience with western astrology except like growing up reading the newspaper reading the signs of what is it based on the sun sign the like my sun sign in Western is Cancer, but in, uh, in Vedic astrology, my sun sign is Gemini, which I could relate to a lot more. Gemini is more of an intellectual type of a sign. It's more it has to do with a lot of uh, thinking. And um, the sun sign is your soul. It's who you really are, how you express it. And uh, I can relate to that a lot more than being a, a Cancer sun sign. So... Um, the, the first thing that Vedic astrology is uh, focusing on, in, in particular in these readings that I do, um, is the ascendant. And the ascendant sign is the sign that was rising in the east at the time of your, at the time of your birth. So that's uh, different from the sun sign. Where, whereas the ascendant, it changes every two hours. The sun sign stays in the same sun, sun sign for 30 days. So you're going to get a more... Uh, really specific niche a way of really looking at who you really are and how these energies really affect you in this world and um, so besides the ascendant I also give you your moon sign your moon sign is the uh, reflection of your soul this is how you express your soul through your mind I mean you look in the in the solar system the Sun is the center of the solar system it reflects its light onto the moon. The moon reflects that light back onto everything else. So the moon is your mind. You can look at it in that kind of a way, that it's, it's expressing how you think and it expresses your emotions. So I'm going to give you that too. Your moon sign changes every two and a half days. It's another uh, important thing to learn about yourself and how your mind works, how it works with your soul. Um, the uh what else did i want to say your sun sign i'm going to give you your sun sign too which changes every 30 days but it's uh, good to know what that is also your sun and your moon reflect express themselves through the ascendant this is how you see yourself and uh one of the other things that we do in this form of vedic astrology is uh we work with uh we're going to give you four different planets but they might be some of them might be the exact same planets but we're going to give you four different subjects that are that are connected to you that are most beneficial to help you out with who you are and um, how to overcome obstacles in your life uh, the first one we give you is a uh, what's called the Atmakaraka this is this is uh, translated as the soul significator this is a planet that's teaching you your main karmic lesson in life this is a good thing to know because uh, how you react in the world is um, is who you really are and learning about this karmic lesson really teaches you how to express yourself in a more positive way because there's gonna be some strengths from this planet that you're gonna get and you're gonna learn about the weaknesses of them too once you see that in relation to who you are and then you'll probably pot come up with experiences in your life where yeah I am this way and I am that way for instance my my Atmakarika is Mars which the lesson in that planet is knowing when to be aggressive and when to be cooperative. And 
that's something that uh yeah it's a lesson that i really need to learn because i had a a habit of being really aggressive as far as uh in the workplace really really striving to be number one getting to the top but not be really being too cooperative at times so i've learned to uh keep an open mind with that not really walk all over people you know it's just not it's not healthy for me in the world and i grow and evolve as a person by learning this lesson in life so that's one planet that we're going to give you the other one is called the ishta devata and that's translated as the uh, chosen deity or chosen planet this is a, a planet that's working with your conscious mind it's uh it's a planet that has been with you through past lives this is a planet that has chosen you through all these past lives and chosen to work with you it is like uh, your best friend uh, this is a planet that you can always talk to whenever you're feeling uh, you're caught in a rut you don't know what to think about something you can always look inside talk to this planet ask it for advice and you're gonna get some intuition from it so this is a uh, this is working with your conscious mind when uh, in your awakened state when you're going about your daily life the other planet that we're going to give you is another one that's called the uh, Dharma Devata and this is a planet that's working with your unconscious mind this is all the stuff that you're not aware of that's uh, blocking you in life that's keeping you from pursuing your your greatest joys your true path what uh, Dharma is translated as is path so it's it's really uh, it's gonna help you to expose any obstacles self-sabotaging things you do in your life any type of fears you have this is a very powerful planet to uh, to know and um, yeah it's 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 one of the most powerful ones working with the unconscious is really where it's at it can help you get rid of bad habits you have all kinds of stuff just any kind of negativity in your life you can cleanse yourself with this planet the other planet that I'm gonna give you is your uh, Paulina Devata this is a planet that's working with your subconscious mind and uh, working with uh, any type of material gains as far as money uh, transportation your home stuff along those lines materialistic stuff another another good planet to uh, know about so all these four planets Atma Karaka, Ishta Devata, Dharma Devata, Paulina Devata I'm gonna give you all those and uh, you might have one planet that's two of them or three of them maybe even four you never know but uh, the most it's gonna be is four different planets but it's good to really know these planets and um, yeah sometimes sometimes they have a uh, all four of them are different um, element signs meaning air earth fire water so when you got all those uh, different elements connected it's really creating a balance in your life a centering you work with those planets it's really really a powerful thing to do uh, what I'm also gonna give you is a, a good luck pendant that is connected to your Dharma Devata which is your unconscious mind this is a pendant that you're gonna wear this is mine right here it's connected to my uh, my uh, Dharma Devata which is Mars so I keep this right here next to my heart right next to my heart right next to my soul this helps keep me connected to my Dharma Devata and what it's been teaching me about who I am what really uh, blocks me from growing as a human being as a uh, shining my soul through my human body this is a really good thing to have also what I'm gonna give you is your uh, what's called your spiritual name this is a, a syllable that is based on um, what position your moon is in the in the sky in other words what a uh, constellation there's 27 constellations in Vedic astrology they're called nakshatras and uh, your moon is in one of those one of those constellations and that constellation is separated into four different sections though each of those sections has its own uh, syllable syllable that it starts with so uh, whatever your your spiritual name is you know it might start with uh, J O you could uh, have a spiritual name that starts with J O like Joe Joseph you know whatever it could be any type of name you could actually change your name to this in the real world and um, this is gonna really empower your mind because the moon is your mind this is something when people call you 
call you by that name it's going to light up that that portion of your mind and it's going to help empower you help you to reflect and express your mind in a more understanding logical powerful way uh, you can also use it on your own time too uh, in, t in terms of uh, rituals when you're doing your own rituals meditations uh, you can use it in that way too it, it works either way uh, another thing I'm going to give you is your what's called the Aruda Lagna this is uh, your projection onto the world this is how other people see you this is not how you see yourself like you will see yourself as your ascendant your moon sign your sun sign but this is how other people will unconsciously see you you know they're not even thinking about it but when they look at you they see you as this different type of a person compared to how you see yourself this is a this is a one of the most important things this and the Dharma Devata are really important things to uh, learn and to really really understand how people look at you so you don't really get get offended if, if you can see certain little maybe facial expressions or things they say or whatever you might hear gossip or whatever whatever it is you know you don't get offended by you know this is like oh it's my Ruta Lugna it's really working sometimes the people have some type of a, a negative reaction towards it too it might be their own unconscious stuff that they're not addressing within themselves too you know so they might be projecting the negative aspects of that of your, your true projection onto you like like um my ruta lagna is uh it's a uh, taurus and in the ten, in the 11th house and i got venus and saturn in that house so what that is is uh the 11th house is a house of gains it's a house of networking and uh, Taurus is the uh, inner expression of Venus. Venus is a planet that uh, wants everybody to get along. It's looking for harmony. It's a uh, pleasure of the senses. It's uh, you know good tasting food, nice clothing, good feeling clothing, luxurious type of a home, clean home. Uh, Saturn is a very uh, patient, karmic, disciplined, stable, type of a planet so I have these two planets affecting me in Taurus and um, what my projection has been has been called is the uh, dependable artist and as a musician once I was told that I, I could look back on my uh, experience as a musician and go yeah that really is who and how people see me as far as um, let's say I'm in a band and someone wants to do a cover song of this song I want to do this song and um, yeah, well, I was like, oh, well, give me uh, three days to learn it, and I'll come back and I'll learn it. I'll learn it to a T. In fact, I could learn it. I'll learn it, and then I'll put my own little, you know, I'll put my own little stamp on it as far as improvisation goes and stuff like that. But um, yeah, I had that reputation all my life, just learning original songs or cover songs to a T, and not really making mistakes. <laughs> but I have made mistakes. Uh, but I know. Um, when I was really young as a teenager, when I would make mistakes, my friends in the band would just really get off on me making mistakes because I would rarely make them. So they would be like, ah, you messed up. Uh, finally, this guy messed up. And I would always say, I never said I don't make mistakes. You know? I mean, hey, it's going to happen to everybody, I suppose, from time to time. But I mean, I'm very, like to keep very focused. If I say I want to learn something, I want to learn it. And I want to present it like I know it, you know? So, the Aruda Lagna is very important. It's uh, it's one of the things that's going to really help you in your life as far as uh, your uh, projection to the world, as far as uh, your materialistic world, how you do outside in the world, in the work environment, and in relationships too. It can really help. So, the yeah, the last thing I'm going to give you is a mantra. This mantra is going to be connected to one of the planets that I was telling you about the one that's most beneficial to you based on your chart so I'll need to look at that to find out exactly what uh, mantra we're gonna give you it's gonna connect you to that planet and uh, we're gonna have you face a direction and uh, depending on what the planet is and what sign it's in it's gonna be a certain direction and it's gonna be a uh, you might have to put let's say a, a bowl of water on your altar before you do this mantra or there might be uh, you might have to have to get a, an idol to put on your altar and do the mantra 
uh, uh, mine, mine, for instance, is uh, I got a Mars and Capricorn. And um, yeah, I, what uh, since I'm in Capricorn, which is ruled by Saturn, I, I uh, face the West. And Capricorn it, in Mars, it calls for an idol. So I have an idol facing on my altar facing the West. And I do my mantra to that one. And uh, this is uh, usually a 40-day ritual mantra. You can do, uh, you can uh, have an, an intention towards a mantra. You can ask this uh, planet and the deity connected to it to, uh, you know, please help me out with my uh, my bad smoking habit, my bad uh, cigarette smoking habit. As you're doing this mantra, or even after you're finished with the mantra and you're there thanking, thanking the planet, thanking that direction, you're gonna probably start to get some type of a uh, intuitions on how to stop this habit of yours you might tap into a memory that ma made you start to have this habit what exactly caused it you know what made you avoid really growing as a soul because that's what the, these things bad habits are they, they're blockages for your soul's evolution and we all want to evolve as a soul in the human body you know that's the whole point of being here is learning all these lessons and pursuing your soul's greatest joy, you came here with a, with an intention, with an intention of uh, figuring out what it is that you uh, programmed into your body before you incarnated into this life. And uh, this uh, method of uh, Vedic astrology really helps you to connect with that, and uh, it's done wonders for me. I really, really love this, uh, this reading that I got, and uh, this is why I want to start doing it myself and sharing it with people. So if you're interested in getting a reading, I'll be happy to help you help you with that. So I'm looking forward to uh, hearing from you. Peace.